this video, I'm going to be going over the Armored Kuruma, the Karen Kuruma, Armored, whatever you want to call it. I call it the Armored Kuruma uh, from the heist update. Um, this is the apartment heist vehicle is basically what I call it. Because um, that's really where I, uh, I would recommend using it most is in the apartment heist, but I'll get to that later. Um, this is a armored car. You want to call that it's an armor car uh the windows are boarded up you can shoot the window here but you can't break the window here and same with all the other ones um it has a decent amount of armor um i don't know if mine has bulletproof tires yeah mine has bulletproof tires uh so it's even better but this car is basically what you want to use on um heists to basically get a leg up on your opponents uh, especially in preps, uh, because, for example, um, I think it's the very first heist that you use it uh, for the apartment, and you actually go to get this car uh, to use it during the heist, which kind of sets the uh, stage for how much you're going to use this during other heists. Um, it's 525000 as you saw in the uh, store. Um, it is in this store. Oh, you it's in this bottom shore right here uh southern andreas uh, but what you have to do to find it is it's pretty easy to find just sort by price and go down until you see the kuruma for 525k and then you can buy it there um in terms of upgrades really what i would do i would make it faster i would add bulletproof tires and i would upgrade the armor um because what you're going to be using this for, heists, uh, that's really all you need. You need the armor so that it doesn't get destroyed as easily. You'll need it to be faster so that you can either get away or get to someone faster. And then you'll need bu bulletproof tires so that when you get shot in the tire, which will happen, um, it won't pop the tire and, you and you'll be able to gain control. Um, some of the things that are good about this is the price, uh, especially if you are more a uh, higher level. Don't take me as an example because I did just buy a yacht, but um, and you have more money. This is only half a million, so you can probably grind that up by selling a couple businesses, maybe even just one business, but it shouldn't be that hard to get. Um, another good thing is the actual armor. Uh, the easiest place to shoot you is the back, which is actually good because uh, if you're driving towards someone or you're driving away from somebody from the side, then they can actually hit you and they can't shoot out your tires and make you spin out because if you buy bulletproof ones they, they just can't do that because they're bulletproof um some of the bad things though um for there's not uh, a much useful customization um especially for an armored car like this like there's no mini guns there's nothing like that that can shoot out of it which isn't really bad but um it is something uh, to consider whenever you're thinking of doing this for a heist, which is, um, which is why there's the next bad thing. Um, I would not recommend using this for the Doomsday Heist. It's really best whenever you're using it for apartment heist or to free room, um, because later in the game, you are not going to be able to use it well. Um, and another thing is that, I mean it's pretty big and clunky so you won't be able to fit into many places which you will still be able to fit into places where normal cars are but places like um some places that a normal car would be like a street car or a sports car would be able to fit into this one won't be because it's a little more on the bulkier side um it's more of a, a van size thing than just a normal car size thing um another thing is that while it is a fast car, it isn't um, what I would consider a heist fast. Uh, for most heists, you want to get in, get out, and then leave. But this one is more of a get in, and then kind of get out, but you have a chance of getting shot. Uh, which is completely understandable, because it is a uh, early game car. Um, but that's really it. Um, that's really it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh... On a scale of 10, I would rate the Karuma. For beginners, I would rate it about an 8 or an, a 7 or an 8. But for later in the game, I would rate it about a 5, uh, maybe a 6. So I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Goodbye.